so this is the catch up that I've um, advertised this week. So just a little bit of an update with what's going on with our peer application. Um, first of all, can I say hello to all those new faces out there? And if you're super new, please subscribe and like my videos. Um, and sorry, and subscribe to my channel. It's much appreciated. The support does help me and kind of like gives me more of a push to do more videos. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. Okay guys, so quick catch up for those of you that have seen, I've said that I've got kind of like a PR update. I do, in a sense. So for those that follow and know the drama that we had with Wes and with Nathan's um, application been told that he doesn't have any Canadian work experience, not work experience, his education could not be conveyed into anything Canadian. And for those of you who know, I went to town on them. They opened the file back up and I have some news. So for those who think that you cannot clap back at Wes or to stand up for yourself if what you think they have assessed is incorrect, you are wrong, my friends, you are wrong. Always stand up for yourself and always question things that you know not to be right. So Nathan has now been awarded um, those points. Well, those points has now been awarded his education and it's equivalent to a year's um, a certificate or diploma. So our points have gone up, not as high as I'd like them to have gone, but we are looking at Nathan Reesing is his self hip. So we're actually hanging on because they are looking at, oh, they're supposed to be announcing or supposed to be telling us more information about this new TR to PR pathway that they're looking at introducing. They're supposed to update the well it's supposed to update the parliament i think or by the 8th of september so that's next week so just hang in fire if what they say isn't what we are wanting to hear nathan will then go and reset his cell pip in the hopes that he can get a level 10 because that will push us up and over the 500 mark so that is our plan of action poor nathan yeah it is all on him Kind of feel for the guy but it is what it is and you've got to do what you've got to do so i'm gonna let this is for sure like pretty much short and sweet but so i am gonna link in what we're doing this weekend and then i'm probably gonna put this video out on monday because it's sandwich fair this weekend and i want to show you and I'm going to go thrifting and I'm going to try and show you because we know that I get carried away with thrifting and then forget to video. So, but Sanich Fair for sure, I'll definitely get that. And Evelyn's starting riding tomorrow, which she's super excited about. And we've got a couple of the bits that we're doing on Monday. We're going out for the lake day, but you you kind of, I'll, I'll try and video some of it, but I don't think you'll find it that interesting because it's just basically me sitting by the lake swimming, having a picnic. Um, with me, the kids, and Nathan, so that's that's the update. Mm -hmm. So we've had a bit of change of plan because it's raining for the first time in months today, so we are going to Sunnish Fair tomorrow. So we've headed out for to do a little bit of um, seasonal shopping, getting ready for fall and Halloween. So just come along and check out the stores and then I will do a haul at the end of the video for you. So we are starting off in Walmart. We're then heading through to Winners and Dollarama and we are doing Marshalls but um, we'll see which I be doing. Okay, enjoy.
jumping on quickly, yes, the bottom shelf that is a Ouija board. This is in Marshalls, I freaked out. from today for fall and Halloween got more stuff the other day but this is just from kind of like the outing today so for those of you who don't know we arrived mid-October last year so by the time that we got here literally we were left with like the dribs and drabs <laughs> that nobody wanted so this year I am starting buying stuff for Halloween because I'm it is my favourite holiday of the year. Then Christmas, but and then Easter. Okay, we'll forget about that. But this is my favourite holiday of the year. And I have a video of last Halloween and kind of how I decorate the front of the house. But this year I want to go all out. I want to do all the down the sides. I've got some fun stuff. Um, so anyway, this is where we'll get started. So this is kind of a combination of like fall, so Thanksgiving and um, Halloween. So... I started off in winners, so in winners I spent through, where is it, is it going to, like a 37.14, I got oh, 12.99 for the leggings, 7.99 for the pumpkin and 12.99 for this little doohickey, so let's just have a look at them, let's put that down there, so how cute is this, this will just sit on my fireplace, ignore the, the crappy nail polish but yeah but how cute is this this will come off and then welcome to the pumpkin patch and then also to go on my mantelpiece I've got this it's a little pot super cute and then a pack of two leggings for Freya then we went to actually we did Walmart first then we went to winners Anyway, but went to Walmart and I got picked up a pump, couple of pumpkins again from my mantelpiece and they together came to doo -doo -doo, 5 dollars So cool. Then we went to Dorama and got all this fun stuff. So this is a pack of two metal gates. And they were five dollars. Remember, this is pre-tax. I've got the receipt there, so I'll tell you how much I spent total afterwards. Um, I've got a. It's quite a heavy one. Heavy plastic. Do not disturb. Tombstone, which I will dig into the ground. Got this little guy. I've got a bigger one of these that hangs up. So this one's a smaller one that I'm gonna pot on the porch then oh my day so much fun like screaming doormat sensor <laughs> 4.75 we didn't have a look to see how much those other ones were this one this little guy was three dollars and this one far box for that anyway back to my screaming doormat how cool is that for 4 75 And to go with that, because I do have my Cabela's doormat, so over the tongue, I'm going to put it between the Cabela's doormat and this one. Oh, it's shit upside down. Just a thin doormat. <laughs> I'm going to put it underneath that, so it'd probably work a bit better. 
So how cool, how fun is that doormat? I've then got oh, doormat price. Sorry, I'm so bad at this. Doormat price is for 50 free tax. And then I've got a skull. I had one of these last year, so I've, oh, this is another one just to add in. I'm going to weight it down, but this was 175. Otherwise, they blow all over the joint. And then, how fun is this bird? Look, its mouth opens. Skark! That was $4. Nathan always said he wanted a bird. <laughs> Maybe they didn't need the actual animal. I never know. So, like, if you saw how much candy the kids got last year, I got these little bucket things. If we had to bring them home, dump it, and go back out. So this year I've got these bigger bags and they were only 125 each. So I've got one each for the older ones and I got an extra backup bag for Freya. So four in total. And then for Thanksgiving, I've got these cupcake cases, $1.50. And like them ones as well. I've also got my new little self in autumn for... Oven glove for three dollars. Started buying um, candy. They were hmm, how much were they? Uh, three fifty each. Um, and starting stocking up now. I know it's only the beginning of September, but if I do a little and often, it kind of spreads the cost as well. I've got one of these bowls, which are one seventy five. And I got one of these, 250 So they're fun. Then I've got these. They're kind of like silicon mats that go. Okay. Here you go. On your table to like protect from the heat of any pans or anything. And I've got three of those to go on the table um, when I serve up. Thanksgiving dinner. I keep flying over this. This, for anybody who doesn't know, is our hamster playground. Because I don't like the balls. So she's got a big playground she goes in in the evening. So yeah, that is my Halloween haul for this week and I spent in Dollarama a total of 62.04 so all in all I don't think I did too badly I restrained myself she said yeah that's everything for this week so if you liked what you've seen and you want to see more please like the video and subscribe to my channel all the support is really helpful it makes me want to go more and do do more videos and show my life a little bit more. There'll be more informative vlogs coming up because there's some big changes coming this month for those that are wanting to know how to move here and how to get PR and what's going on in um, that area of, for Canada because obviously there's lots of changes coming up with the new NOC system and these new changes that they're supposed to be announcing in the next week. So fingers crossed I'll have some good news for you and then um, by next week. Okay, enjoy. Tatty bye.